All right, the other hot button issue we got to talk about. It's mm -hmm. it's a weird situation for the Chicago Bears right now. Right. I'm not going to press you too hard on what they <laughs> should do because right. you. I mean, you've been there for Justin Fields his entire career. Right. I guess for starters, there. What can you say about how he turned it around in the second half of this year and coming back from that injury? What did you see from him with all that noise and all that conversation? The way that he finished the season. I think him just trying to get comfortable, him just being who he is. I think, too, you have you have a lot of people telling you to do this, to try to do that or be a certain way or, well, he doesn't throw the ball. He doesn't do all these different things. And I feel like it's always been a game, I think, for him of what he doesn't do. And I think really in the back half, he kind of just let all that go and kind of just was comfortable, was confident in just who he is as a quarterback, what he can do. And I think he we were able to see that. And I think that was the biggest thing that I've always said is the talent is there. I think it's just more so his – comfort um, in the offense, comfort in the team and having to trust the, the team, the guys around them, and then also just going out there and being who he is, whether that's throwing the ball for 300 yards or running the ball for 150. I don't think it's – I really don't think it's fair to, like, ask you what the Bears should do. Like, that's mm -hmm. Ryan Poles' job to no figure doubt. out. But – what at the very least, what what do you think is the vibe in the locker room and in that organization knowing like, hey, we've had Justin here. It could be a number one overall mm -hmm. pick later this spring. Like what what do you think is the feeling amongst the team about where this might go or or what might happen? Honestly, I think a lot of it was a feel kind of way. I feel like if he wasn't here with us next year, I think because I mean, we you build so much. I feel like with somebody, you work so hard with somebody. And then I feel like it's one of those things too, where it's like, we don't feel like he's the, like the problem. And I think if, in a sense, you get rid of a guy that I think has been the leader since he's gotten the builder and he's took the city of Chicago on his shoulders. And I feel like that's not an easy city to, to take on, especially when you're not winning. So, I mean, just the way he's been able to handle himself as a man in the locker room. I mean, even for me, building a relationship with him as well. He's supported my golf tournament, nonprofit thing. So, I mean, he, he's a guy that has good character, a guy that, I feel like everybody draws close to. So I feel like you getting rid of getting rid of him, I feel like especially what he can do on the field, and we're able to see the talent that he has. So I think, I mean, for us, I think it'll be a hard reset for us to be able to, okay, take on a new leader, somebody coming in and running the show now. So, I mean, I I, I think he he's the one personally. Said it yourself? You said it yourself? I, <laughs> no doubt. No, there just aren't many more interesting situations right. happening in the NFL heading into this offseason than what's going to happen in Chicago.